Question 55. What's the negation of the predicate for all x there exists y such that p of y determines q of x? Sometimes the easiest way to think of these logic problems, particularly when you're in an exam and everything's you know going through your mind, is to put it into um, real world terms. So let me just try to pop this in here in real world terms. Think of x as cats and y as dogs, and p of y as plant, a dog barking, and q of y as a cat hiding. Just You could use anything you want, but this is what I'm going to use for this demonstration here. So what this is saying is for all cats, there exists some dog such that when a dog is barking, a cat is hiding. Okay, um, so then the question is how do we negate that? If, if for all cats there's some dog uh, where whenever the cat's hiding there's a dog barking, all we need to do is kind of reverse the meaning of that. that if it's not true, if we negated this, then there must be some cat that's true for all dogs that when a dog is barking, the, 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 the situation exists where there's a dog barking and there's a cat not hiding. Because this one says that, that, that there's got to be a cat hiding if a dog is barking. That's what this is saying. There wouldn't be any cat dogs barking if there was a cat hiding, if, if, if there's no cats hiding. But this is saying, yeah, there's, a, there's a, a cat's not hiding, but the dog's still barking. So what that does is it basically breaks the logic back down into this. Um, you know, for every x, there exists, sorry, there exists some x for every y, such that uh, uh, p of y and not q of x is true. So... That is option E. Um, this logic stuff, in, you know, predicates logic is kind of complicated. There's lots of books on this, but hopefully this is good enough to help you score on the test.